Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. How are you guys? I have woken up to a really beautiful day here in Vegas. Oh, hello. Good morning. Well, good morning. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, someone's very excited. Very excited this morning. We're taking you to school today. Yes, we are. Wow, someone's really, really excited this morning. But what I was trying to show you was how beautiful the skies look. Our pool is looking good. Our landscaping is looking nice. It's starting to really fill in for the season. Are you ready for school, crazy baby? Are you ready for school? So I have um, a fun day ahead of me. I am going to be... Uh, well, doing a different kind of vlog style video for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Today is the first day that I can shop. I am the the middle tier. I think it's Icon. I think it's Icon. Anyway, um, so I'm going to be going to the Nordstrom here in Las Vegas at the Fashion Show Mall. I'm going to vlog that um, and do a haul with you guys. That'll be a whole separate video, but that's what I'm doing today. Um, but with you guys on this vlog, I do have some very minor home updates just to share with you. Um, I have a huge PR haul. I don't know. It really comes in waves. I feel like some weeks I get nothing. And then some weeks it's like I'm going to the UPS store and picking up like 10 packages at a time, which I am always and forever so grateful for. It's just incredible. So anyway, I have those packages to share with you. But right now we've got to take... Miss Butters to school. All right, I'm all showered and dressed and I am just sitting down to put on some makeup. I'm sitting here <laughs> staring at my vanity, which is such a mess. Um, but when it's a mess, a lot of makeup is left out, which is kind of convenient. I don't have to go digging through my drawers. Uh, but I think I'm just gonna throw on, you know, something light. I'm just going to Nordstrom, just shopping. So I'm gonna throw on some of the Dior Backstage Concealer and use my Trish McAvoy blender brush. This is the number 55 deluxe blender brush from Trish McAvoy that I have been a long time fan of. <laughs> long, long time fan of. You guys probably haven't seen me use this in a while, but love this brush. You know what I kind of feel? Uh, I should have put this on before concealer. I think I'm gonna use the super goop one. I'm just gonna put it on top, hold on. So my skin is feeling like a little dry today. And now that I've put on concealer, I really feel, I feel the dryness <laughs> in my face. Uh, so I am gonna put on, where is it? I know it's out here. Here it is. I'm gonna put on the um, super goop glow screen. I should have put this on before my concealer, but that's okay. I'm just gonna squeeze some out. Do you guys love this? middle finger nail. I <laughs> finally made an appointment with my nail tech, but it's not until next week, unfortunately. So all the makeup that I talked about in my mid-year favorites, it's like they're all sitting out here still. So I'm like staring at all this stuff, wondering what I should use next. Well, I have the Chanel uh, Water Fresh blushes out. So I, th I think I'll use this. So I'm just gonna use the shade Warm Pink. And uh, so many of my brushes are dirty. Let me see. I'm gonna use this Chanel brush. I think this came in a set, but it's the Fluid Powder Foundation Brush. And I'm just going to break up those little beads, brush it onto my cheeks. Now I'm gonna throw on some of this Dior Brow Gel. And I've got the Wayne Goss Smoky Quartz Palette out here. This is like such a great everyday basic palette. Here's the Smoky Quartz. I'm probably just gonna focus on these two shades today. And then from the Rose Topaz Palette from Tom Ford, I'm gonna grab, not that shade, this shade up here. And put that on the remainder of my lid here. 
Then, I don't think I need much, but I'm just going to take a clean, fluffy brush and just make sure we're blended out. Now, I'm just going to curl my lashes, taking my Lancome Le Wheat Nose Mascara. And I'm taking my Hourglass Voyeur Waterproof <laughs> Gel Eyeliner in Cave. I started doing my eyeliner after I do my mascara. I find it easier because I always like to add it to my tight line and it's easier to do it after I've curled my lashes and put some mascara on. It kind of gets my eyelashes out of the way since they grow down. So yeah, I just started doing that. And I don't even think I realized I started doing that. I think one day I, I didn't want to put eyeliner on. So I just went straight to mascara and then I was like, mm, I think I need a little eyeliner. And then I did it afterwards. And I don't know, maybe subconsciously I was like, this is a lot easier. So just started doing it fairly recently. And going back to the Wayne Goss, I'm going into this shade here with a uh, kind of a pointy brush. That's not the one I want. I'm kind of like a liner brush. I'm actually going to take this Smudger 2 brush from Sonia G and I'm just going to add this to my uh, lower lash line. I found when I'm doing like a plain, basic kind of eye look. If I use like a like a eyeliner pencil like this in my bottom lash line, it's just a little too, I mean, even after smudging it out, I feel like it's just too strong of a look. So I'll tight line with the pencil and then I'll just use a dark eyeshadow as liner. And you guys know me, I really like using shadow as liner. I just like that kind of softer, um, softer look. All right, last but not least, some lips. I, of course, was thinking maybe I should do a bright lip since I'm wearing a bright shirt, but maybe that's too matchy-matchy. I think I'll put on this new Merit Signature lipstick that I uh, did like a try-on haul. Yeah, I did like a Sephora try-on haul with this, and I love this formula. I think it's so great. So this is in the shade Slip. I think I need a little um, brightening underneath my eyes, so I'm going to go in with the Westman Atelier translucent um, powder here. And I'm just going to pick some up on my finger and press underneath my eyes. Yeah, that looks a little better. And then I'm going to take the creme shade, which has a light kind of flesh tone to it, and just add it to my nose here just to keep that super extra shine down. <laughs> it's where I sweat the most, is at the tip of my nose. All right, I think I am ready to hit Nordstrom. Let me show you what I put on today. So this is an old blouse from H&M, I believe, and it's just like a cotton poplin, but I love this reddish orange color. I just took the front into some Everlane jeans. I threw on my new Fendi slides. I love these, they're so comfortable. Um, and I threw on my Allegheny jewelry necklace. This is an old style, but they have very similar styles. Um, their aesthetic, I would say, is very, very consistent season to season, so you can probably find something very similar to this. And I threw on my Dean Davidson Huggies, my Hermes bangle, and oh, I forgot to mention, so I mentioned this on Instagram, so sometimes I forget to vlog it also, um, but I got my Moonstone wedding ring back from uh, Luna, who is the artisan, jeweler, craftsman behind Lucifer Veronesis, uh, and uh, I sent it off to her just because I was like, this needs a glow up. I wear it, you know, every single day. It's a big ring. I knock it into things. The moonstone uh, was uh, kind of scratched up. It just looked worn. It was super dirty. I had knocked some of these little diamonds out. So I was like, whatever you can do for my <laughs> beautiful ring. And it came back. I mean, it came back just a couple days ago. It came back looking brand new, like this, is not even the same color metal <laughs> that I sent to her. She really, really, she polished it up. She cleaned it up. She polished the moonstone. So there's no more marks on it. She replaced all of the diamonds that were missing. Not that there were many. I think there was maybe like two chips missing, which I mean, considering how clumsy I am, how often I wear this, 
how, you know, when you wear jewelry all the time, you just kind of forget about it. And I was knocking into things. Anyway, it's finally back with me. And she did such an amazing job. So a huge thank you to her. I'm so grateful that she did this. It's just incredible. It really looks like the day that I got it. So that's the update on my ring. So I'm gonna head over to Nordstrom now. And like I said, I'm gonna make that a separate vlog. That's gonna be my Nordstrom vlog, my Nordstrom haul uh, from the anniversary sale. But I'll continue this vlog after I get that out of the way. I still have a bunch of PR to show you guys. And um, there's something else. Oh, some like minor home updates, but we'll get to that. Hello, I got back from Nordstrom did my little quick little haul video, got some decent things. If you saw my Nordstrom preview review video, um, you pretty much know what I picked up because I talked about it. Um, but yeah, anyway, I am back. So I wanted to give you a very minor kind of home update, but um, I don't know if you guys recall, but in our family room here, I moved the TV from one wall to the neighboring wall and um, it left a really big hole <laughs> in the wall. And uh, we just haven't been able to get anyone in to do the work, you know, to do the, like the um, drywall and painting or whatever. So we finally, finally got someone in to do that. So I'm actually focusing the camera on the couch. If I just bring it up to the actual wall, I won't be able to focus. So anyway, like right over here, there was a giant hole. It was like an electrical box for the TV. So the TV used to be here and we moved it over here. So as minor as that was, it was just such, you know, it was like such a blemish on such a big <laughs> white wall um, that it really was like painful for me to look at. And so I'm really glad that that is done. Um, we also had to move a light switch. <sighs> I told you these are very minor. Um, so we had to move a light switch. Basically, my husband's office is the quote unquote office in this house. And so it doesn't have a door. And what we wanted to do was add a door to this room. And well, here, let me show you. So here's his office. It's, it's pretty much, it's not even a mess. It's just, we don't have like the right furniture in here or whatever. We're gonna get California closets in here. So for now it looks pretty crazy. There's Miss Butter's bed, which she has to be with daddy. Anyway, so here is the opening. And we're gonna get uh, basically like double doors put on here. And these light switches were over here. So when we had someone come in and like give us an estimate and, you know, on the door or whatever, you know, he was kind of taking a look around and he's like, well, the doors are gonna open in. That's the only way it makes sense. And then they're gonna be in the way of this light switch. So we were trying to figure out like, could we move it? Like, where could we move it? And the only place that made sense was out here because there was no place basically inside <laughs> that we could move the light switch like that would be even worse over here like if we added doors so we got that done which is great i'm gonna have to like wipe away that mark so we now have the lights to my husband's office on the outside so while that was minor that was really important too and we wanted to get that done before we got the whole california closets situation in there um, and we're waiting to do that room and we're waiting to do my finishing room. We're waiting to do those two rooms after we have the primary closet done because I just want to kind of experience a California closet room before building out more rooms, if that makes sense. Like I, I, I just want to take it slow because it's a process. It's expensive. It's a process. It takes a while or whatever. So I just want to be sure about all of, because you can customize pretty much everything, the like depth of drawers, the, you know, the height of them, like everything. So I just want to make sure, I just want to live in one of the spaces for a little while before moving on to the next rooms. But I think once our primary closet is done, you know, we've spent some time, with, sorry, it's so echo in here. We, we spend some time with it or whatever, then I'll be able to move on to both of these uh, rooms at the same time, which will be really great. And then this other issue that we had, this was such a strange one because it wasn't consistent. So in our guest bath here, let me turn on the lights, um, we have this faucet. And it was like every, like every 10th time we used it, 
the water would come out and it would appear kind of like it was dirty. And it actually ended up kind of staining the sink. Can you see that? And so when we showed it to the gentleman, you know, that came to kind of take a look at everything we wanted to get done, um, you know, I turned it on, I was like, I don't know if it's gonna look dirty because it doesn't happen every single time. I turned it on and it did actually look dirty. He was like, I think that's rust. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm like, that's really strange. And he kind of did a quick look. Anyway, long story short, like all of the pipes are fine. Um, the actual hardware was fine. There was like one piece that they used between the hardware and the pipes that they used was metal, like just straight up metal and not um, brass, I think they said. It has to be brass, so the metal rusted. So that was rusty water coming out of here. Um, so they swapped that out and now the water runs clear, thank goodness. And now I'm gonna have to figure out how to clean out uh, this sink, like base, I don't know if bleach, straight up bleach is gonna work, but maybe I'll start there. Anyway, so we had to get that fixed and that was, you know, it was one of those like, it's kind of minor, but it's also like really, gross i was like really grossed out that the water coming out of there every once in a while was kind of dirty so anyway got that fixed um and then all of i'm not even gonna bother showing you i'll just tell you but a bunch of our like hand towel um toilet paper holders like all of those fixtures were like just kind of slowly coming out of the wall mainly in our primary bathroom um and then i think the one in our guest room so we had all of the hardware, like the fastening hardware replaced. They just had those, you know, those big plastic anchors that you like hammer into the wall and then you screw into that. Those weren't good enough. So they replaced them with those toggles, you know, the ones that you like push through and they spring open and then they hold onto like the other side of the drywall and then it doesn't, it doesn't move at all. So they replaced, I think four, yeah, two, two like towel racks and two um, toilet paper holders. Um, so yeah, those, yeah, we kind of like tested them out. They're really secure. So we're happy about that. And, um, in terms of the door for my husband's office, they had to order it. I think one supplier just was like way, way, way back ordered. And so now they're looking for like another supplier. Anyway, hopefully that's going to happen soon. Um, maybe it'll happen around the same time that they finish our primary closet. That'll be really nice. Um, and it's, it's funny, like we just, <laughs> we sat on getting a door for my husband's office. So at first, like when we moved here, it was during basically the lockdown and my husband was working from home. And you know, during the lockdown, it was very, I, don't, I could be going back to the office next week. I could be going back next month. And they just kept putting it off, putting it off, <laughs> putting it off where finally I was like, look, even if you have to go back to the office at some point, there's probably gonna be some sort of flex schedule where you're gonna be working from home or able to work from home one or two days a week or something like that. So anyway, I was like, let's just get the door. So of course I looked at my husband and I was like, as soon as we get doors on your office here, you're gonna be back in your real office <laughs> full time. <laughs> I'm like, I just know it. I just know that's gonna be the timing. Uh, but anyway, something we want to get done. Uh, we should have just done it sooner, but um, we'll get that done. I'll show you guys, of course, once that's finished. And I think, oh, there's another little, well, we're not really done with it, so I'm not gonna show you yet. But do you guys remember the fire pit that we got at Costco? So if you did not tune into that particular vlog, my husband and I were at Costco one day and this was uh, like at the end of spring uh, or actually more like the beginning of spring here. And they had all of these like outdoor, you know, things, fire pits, umbrellas, patio furniture, patio sets. And so when I saw the fire pit, I was like, oh, that'll be so nice upstairs because I got those two chairs to sit outside. Anyway, long story short, we got it home, but it's heavy and we want to put it upstairs off of uh, our primary bedroom. We have some outdoor space. Um, it, it was just way too heavy for us to carry. So when these gentlemen came, I asked them, can they move that upstairs? And they did, but we have to finish putting it together. It's also way too hot now. <laughs> it's like the office doors, the timing is terrible. It's way too hot now to be using any sort of fire, anything here in Vegas. So we're not in that much of a rush, but it's finally up there. I'm so excited. Uh, we have to get like a little uh, propane tank for it or whatever, but again, no rush because it's burning hot here. Um, yeah, so that is it in terms of little minor home updates. 
Um, and then something I, I just forgot to mention to you guys, I think I kind of forgot about it, but my husband and I are doing a little staycation this weekend. I'm really excited. Uh, we got one of those sky suites at Aria. Um, so we're gonna be checking in Friday, checking out Sunday. So we're just doing a weekend there. We're boarding Butters. So she's basically just gonna be playing um, all weekend, which is great. So my husband and I celebrated 26 years together this past, this past weekend. I can't remember the date, <laughs> this past weekend. Um, this is like our dating anniversary. It's not our wedding anniversary, it's our dating anniversary. So we've been together for 26 years. Um, and so we wanted to do something. We, we tend to celebrate this anniversary in a bigger way, I guess because we've been celebrating this anniversary more often. We have celebrated this anniversary more than our wedding anniversary, if that makes sense. So um, yeah, so we tend to do this one a little bit bigger. So we decided to do a staycation. We were thinking about going away and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you know, we live here in Vegas. Why don't we just take advantage of that? So that's what we decided on. Uh, but I'm realizing, you know, Vegas has been busy. It has been really, really busy. Um, all throughout the week, on the weekends, it's even busier. Um, it's sometimes it's been really hard to get reservations at restaurants, things like that, which when we moved here, it was never really that big of a problem. And that was one of the things that we loved, you know, coming from New York where you not only needed a reservation, but you like needed to know someone to be able to get into like the hot new restaurant. So um, anyway, it's getting to the point here where you really like absolutely need a reservation, especially on the weekends. So I'm gonna sit here and do that and kind of figure out, um, yeah, figure out where we're gonna go and what we're gonna do. So there is, um, I don't know if it's a buffet, I don't think it's a buffet. I think it's mainly like a dim sum restaurant. My husband loves Chinese food. I do not like Chinese food. <laughs> the irony is not lost on me. He loves Chinese food. Um, so there is this Chinese restaurant at the Aria that he has not been to. Um, and yeah, he really wants to go and I'm like, that's, fine, we can, we can go there. Like I'll eat Chinese food, it's not a big deal. I'll eat Chinese food, but it's never ever something that I crave. It's never something I will suggest. Um, yeah, and it's definitely never anything like at the top of my list, so. Anyway, let's, uh, let's make some reservations here. Okay, so all the meal reservations have been made <laughs> for our weekend, uh, Friday night dinner, Saturday breakfast, lunch, <laughs> dinner, Sunday breakfast. We booked a spa appointment. I'm very excited. I'm gonna be vlogging our weekend, so I will be bringing you guys along with us. So I'm not gonna linger too long on that now, but I just had to sit and like figure out all the reservations. Plenty of the restaurants that we wanted to go to were booked or they didn't have any availability. You know, we figured we can ask when we get there. Sometimes they leave some tables free for like in-person inquiries uh, versus like open table or online or whatever. So we'll see, we may change up some things uh, once we get there. But anyway, um, PR. I have a lot of PR that I wanted to open up. I figured I would do it with you guys. Here is a quick look at all of the boxes. I really don't know what we're dealing with here. So let's, uh, let's start opening these guys up. Okay, so PR packages. Um, the first thing I wanted to show you was something I already opened because it came in a very large box, but it was very light. So I was very curious what it was. This is something from Shantakai. Look at this beautiful bag that they sent. Isn't this a gorgeous tote? It looks just like one of those Dior book totes. I absolutely love it. And it's like really, really um, faint. So it's not like overly logoed. It's just really gorgeous. And then inside they threw uh, two products in there for me, the Rose de May Cleansing Balm, which I love, 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 and the Vital Essence, which I've never tried before. So I'm really excited to give this a shot. I have to read up on when I use this in my skincare routine and what it's supposed to do, but I'm really excited. I'm excited for any Shantikai products. So a big thank you to them. And then I got this box from Exponent. So are you guys familiar with this? skincare brand, they are, I think they're relatively new, at least they're new to me, but I started seeing them more and more on like Instagram and I just became very, very intrigued with their product and mainly because of how everything is packaged and not, not like it's really beautiful, but it's very, very, um, like you mix the ingredients together. Actually, let me just read to you what they have here. 
So did you know the average skincare product loses half its active ingredient efficacy in just two months? So in this box they sent over is this whole like pamphlet about how you like put the ingredients together. So they also have in here, it says, sure, setup isn't as fast as a pre-assembled pump, but at least you don't have to put the mortar to the pestle like an esthetician. So I guess it's somewhere in between. And they have this hyaluronic acid hydrator, and then they have all of these different powders, and you can like pick which one you want to mix together to create your skincare product. And this chart basically shares with you like, like what the results are. So I think you can pick from here. So the probiotic enzyme shows a decrease in blemishes. There is a CoQ10 antioxidant that showed a decrease in fine lines. There's the time rewind retinol. And these are all the different powders that showed an increase in skin firmness and elasticity. Um, vitamin C powder showed skin brightness and then a Calm Revival Green Tea Resveratrol. And that showed a decrease in skin redness. Let's see, this is the dispenser and globe. And then there's the base, there is the hyaluronic hydrator, and then they sent over the retinol powder. And this booklet has very clear instructions and how you mix all the stuff together to create your skincare. So I am gonna have to really sit down with this because I don't wanna mess it up <laughs> um, and really give this a shot. I'm a little bit nervous about the retinol because you guys know how sensitive my skin is. I don't know, um, you know, I can always try it like on a small spot or something, but yeah, I really, really, really wanna try this Skincare brand. Have you guys heard of this or am I am I the only one? But I feel like I've been seeing more and more buzz about them and I love the idea of mixing it all together and You know just having the most kind of like potent and Efficient skincare possible and it doesn't feel like gimmicky to me You know, it feels like you're really just putting the ingredients together, which is really I think it's really really cool so I will do that with you guys maybe maybe tonight I have to pack for our weekend, but maybe tonight uh, we can play around with this. So that's from Exponent. Wow, a huge, huge thank you to them. I'm very, very excited about this brand and about this, <laughs> about this skincare. So cool. And then I got an envelope from Code 8 Beauty, and they sent over their uh, Radiate Beauty Balm. I think that's the full name. And they send over two shades for me, NC05 and NC15. This is, if I understand correctly, um, like a tinted beauty balm. And that sounds right up my alley. So this is, which shade is this? NC05. That should work out really nicely. And then here is NC15. Oh, this is a bit warmer than I thought. This one I think is way too deep for me. So the NC05 I think will work out, but I'm definitely gonna use this in um, a trying new makeup video because I, I just love the, the name, Radiate Beauty Balm. I just feel like that's very me. I feel like this product speaks to me. So thank you to Code 8 for sending this over. I can't wait to try it. And then, oh wow, this is a small but very heavy box from Ghost Democracy. Let's see, oh, skincare. Okay, we've got some sunscreen, we've got a hyaluronic acid serum. We have a peptide pack dewy toning mist. All of these things sound really good to me so far. We have a ceramide rich cream, uh, a lightweight daily face moisturizer, and Let's see, is this an eye cream? Yeah, a firming eye concentrate and a transparent gentle exfoliating daily cleanser. Oh, this one I probably can't use. It has glycolic acid in there, but no matter. Everything else looks really great. Look how cute this package is. <laughs> and the tissue paper. So it says highly concentrated, exceptionally clean skincare. I have never heard of this brand, but let me know if you guys have down below in the comment section. Uh, it looks like it's distributed by Vera Shop in Santa Monica, California. I'm trying to see where it's made. It does not say where this is made, just where it's distributed from. Ghostdemocracy.com. 
ghostdemocracy.com if you want more info. Well, this is great. Thank you so much. Then I got something from a PR company. Let's see what this is. Ah, from Westman Atelier. Hi, Michelle. We can't thank you enough for all of your support. Oh, uh, we hope you love this small token of our appreciation and can't wait to share what's ahead with you. So they sent over, I don't know what they sent over. <laughs> this little, little dust bag here. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, you guys. Oh, this is one of the leather letter charms in M. Oh, I have been <laughs> stalking the Westman Atelier site, waiting for this M to get restocked. And when I was on that uh, Zoom call that they had, some people asked about this, myself included. I was like, when are those leather charms coming back into the stock? And they said, soon, very, very soon. They were kind of caught off guard how much everyone loved them and how quickly they sold out the, the first time they stocked it. So, oh, it looks like they're coming back in stock soon. Oh, I cannot wait to hang this off of my Westwood Atelier uh, little vanity bag that I got. Oh, thank you so, so much. This is so, this is so incredible. Oh, thank you. I love it, and this leather is so soft. Next, I got something from Rose Ink. This is their Satin Lip Color Rich Refillable Lipstick. It looks like they sent over, wow, a lot of them. Okay, here is the little paper that was sitting on top. Um, let's take a look at these. 10 new neutrals, 10 ways to make an impression. These are very, very lightweight. Here is what the bullet looks like. A little bit of a strong scent. What is that? It's kind of a weird mixture of like makeup and cupcakes. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see how this is refillable. Oh, just pull out. Okay. That's very very easy. Oh, yeah, definitely very creamy. That, by the way, is the shade uh, Persuasive. Okay. Light nude shade here. This is Besotted. Besotted. I feel like that is such a proper, proper term. Ooh, that's pretty. A little peachier, a little warmer than Persuasive. Ooh. All right. Well, thank you very much, Rose Ink. This may make an appearance in one of my trying new makeup videos. This is really lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rose Ink. So cool. Thank you. All right, next up we have a box from, ooh, box from Paula's Choice. I don't think I've ever gotten anything from Paula's Choice. Ooh, a 5% niacinamide body serum and a clinical niacinamide 20% treatment. Oh, for the face, okay. So it looks like we've got niacinamide for the body and the face. This is great. I actually get along with niacinamide. I know not everyone does. Um, and my skin being so sensitive, I'm surprised it does get along with niacinamide. So this is great. And I have been trying to, you know, kind of pay better attention to my body skin. So this is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much, Paula's Choice. All right, next up we have something from JVN Hair. The lightweight leave-in for instantly hydrated glossy hair. Ooh, this is the complete conditioning mist. Oh, how lovely. I definitely use that. I could probably use some of that right now. It's made with clean hemisqualane. Wow. Mist on, oh, wet hair to gently detangle and hydrate without weight. Or mist on dry hair to refresh dry strands and ends anywhere, anytime. Oh, nice. I feel the moisture, but it doesn't look like greasy. Oh, that's nice. It's not heavy at all. It's very, um, it's like smooth, but it's not like silicone. That's really, really nice. Wow, oh, thank you, JVN. Really gorgeous. All right, next we have, ooh, something from Bare Minerals. Oh, wow, that's so nice. Look at this color here, Bare Minerals. Bare Pro 16 Hour Skin Perfecting Powder Foundation for Michelle. So sweet. Oh, wow, and they put it in one of those like cool, like reusable bags, sealable silicone bags. And looks like they sent me a bunch of different shades in here. Let's see. Huh, they included a brush with 
my name on it. That's so nice. Wow, all this personalization is very sweet. So let's see, they sent over fair warm, fair neutral, and fair neutral, wait, fair neutral 17, and fair neutral 15. Let's try. So here's what the product looks like, and then there's like a little sponge inside. So like super silky soft, wow. It almost, it like really almost doesn't feel like powder at all. This is supposed to be neutral, but it does look kind of peachy. So I'll have to take a look at the other shade, but that is the gist of the 16 hour skin perfecting powder foundation. It's available in 35 shades. There's the info. Very cool. Thank you so much, Bare Minerals. Very cool. And then I got something from Rock, which is a skincare brand. And then, is that Sarah Jessica Parker? I guess we'll find out. Yes limited edition set to help champion this movement towards optimism sarah jessica parker has handpicked her favorite uh, ro roc or rock uh, products in a limited edition set we'll be donating a hundred percent of profits from this set in the next month to the seek her foundation contributing to the organization's mission to bridge the gender gap in mental health wow awesome that is so great okay let's see what is in this set look at this cute bag it's like a light denim, well, it's actually more like a canvas bag. Very nice. We have, let's see, serum capsules, hyaluronic acid. We have the multi-correction hydrate and plump eye cream with hyaluronic acid and peptides. And then, yes, we have a hydrate and plump moisturizer with hyaluronic acid, and it is also an SPF 30. That is fantastic. Wow, that is so great. Thank you so, so much. And please, correct me out there. Is this Rock or ROC? Every time I've seen this at the store, I'm always, I always say in my mind Rock, but now I feel like I'm wrong. Anyway, <laughs> let me know. Okay, next up, True Botanicals. Ooh, you guys know how much I love True Botanicals. Bunch of stuff, let's see. They sent over their Ginger Turmeric Cleansing Balm. Just FYI, this product has lactic acid in there. That does not necessarily agree with my skin. So just wanna make you guys aware in case you have similar skin to me. Um, the Chibula Active Serum, you guys know how much I love, love, love this serum. The Pure Radiance Oil Renew. I'm actually almost done currently with my Pure Radiance Oil, so this is great, great timing. Uh, the Resurrection Radiance Eye Cream. Awesome, and then the Chibula Extreme Cream. Ooh, this is really fantastic. Thank you so much, True Botanicals. I don't know if you guys have tried their stuff, but it's really good, really, really good. You can see the difference in your skin like overnight. It's incredible. Next, I have a box from the UK. I think this is Trini London because I see some yellow poking out. Yes, okay, Trini London. Oh, wow. Oh, it looks like they've... This is really cool. Looks like they sent over like a little vanity bag. That is so neat. It's all like mirrored. It's so trinny, isn't it? It's all mirrored. It's very like mod looking. And look at all that room. And then there's a zipper pocket in there. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. Thank you so much. Wow, I have all of these like little bags now I can use for my weekend getaway. <laughs> okay, we are getting close to the bottom here this is oh is this from Westman Atelier let's see oh this is I think this is actually from Credo Beauty that carries a uh, Westman Atelier and they sent me some Westman Atelier things oh that is so nice so they have sent over ooh, the new vital press skincare powder you guys know how much I love it in translucent that's the one that looks white in the pan it's very brightening just used it today actually underneath my eyes this is great and then they sent over, ah, two of the foundation sticks. They sent over shades two and three. So funny enough, I am shade one, but the tone is a little bit off. So I just ordered shade 0 0.5 and shade N, both of which are lighter than shade one. And I'm gonna try and mix and see which one works best for me because I really like the formula of this foundation. So I really want it to work. Um, and it'll be nice to have two and three in there because 
these lighter ones may make the one too light for my skin. So anyway, it's good to have like all of these like shades to be able to play around with. Um, so thank you, a big thank you to Credo and Westwood Atelier for that. That was really nice, very, very nice. Um, and, oh, it looks like I got something else from Credo Beauty here. Oh wow, it looks like it's just a big box of goodies. So Credo, they, they send me an email usually letting me know that something is coming um, and they'll outline what's in the box and I can't find that email. So I'm not sure if this is part of something sometimes they uh, like do spotlights on their site where they like spotlight uh, black owned businesses or female owned businesses things like that um, so i'm not sure if that's what this is part of i'm so sorry um but they sent over vi vireo vireo this is a perfume actually called i am verdant Ooh, let's open this up you guys know how much i love perfume Ooh, wow look at this bottle oh my goodness Look at how cool that is. It's not quite as like crisp and fresh as you would think. It's a little bit more like a like a deep green, almost like a almost like a cocktail. Like there's a card inside. It says, "For transformation and illumination, a fragrance sprouting fresh green growth. It's enveloping mossy citrus aromatic comes from clarifying Italian bergamot and uplifting cyclamen combined with illuminating frankincense." Cleansing Iris Absolute and Orange Flower Absolute for elevating the spirit. Mmm. Ooh, it's really nice. Yeah, it's a little, like, sexier than just, like, a straight-up, like, fresh green, yellow kind of fragrance. Ooh, lovely. Okay. That's wonderful. I've never even heard of this uh, brand before, this particular perfume maker. Well, that is lovely. They also included the Ursa Major Mountain Glow Golden Serum. The 11 by Venus Williams, the Ace the Day Face Lotion. This is SPF 30. And then Mineral Body Sunscreen, SPF 35 from Kinfield. And then we have Maya Chia Watercolor Super Antioxidant Instant Glow Hydrating Serum. A gradual sunless tan. Ooh, that's nice. And then from Ceremonia, Guava Beach Waves. Salt texture spray. Ooh, just talking about how I've been like getting into trying to find like the perfect texturizing spray. Oh, this is very exciting. I love this box. It's like different colors on each side. It's so fun. It's so summery. Oh, that's incredible. Thank you so much, Credo. This is really, really cool. I'm very excited for this perfume. Ah, and then let's see. Oh, this is for the Nordstrom sale. So uh, new brow and new lash exclusively for Nordstrom. So here's the new brow. Here is the new lash. It looks like, uh, like a buy one, get one free situation. So I've never tried new lash. I tried a different one. I cannot remember the name. I can't remember the name, but I tried it once and it really irritated my eyelids. So I think I want to give this a shot, this new lash. Cause I hear it works like wonders. And you guys know I have really, really kind of sad, sad eyelashes. I don't think my brows need that much help. In fact, I feel like I would end up looking like, who's that guy with the really bushy eyebrows? Well, there's a number of them, but anyway, I don't really want to have super bushy eyebrows. So maybe this is for someone else, but the new lash, I think I may give it a shot. I was really shy about them for a while because of how irritated my, um, my eyelid got, but Maybe I'm ready to give it a shot again. A big thank you to New Lash or Skin Research Laboratories. Thank you, thank you for sending these over. Oh, there she is. Selena, kind words. Let's see what's in here. Use kind words. Oh, this is very nice. That, wow, okay, looks like we've got some new lipsticks and lip liners. 10 new shades. Uh, let's see, $20, and the lip liners are $15. Oh, look at this. Fun. And here, wow. Here are all of the lipsticks and the lip liners. My goodness. All right, let me pull out one of these lip liners. I'm going to pull out Fun. I think, oh yeah, it raises up and down, which is nice. And then we've got a sharpener at that end. Let's see how smooth this feels. Oh, nice. 
glides on really nicely. So this is a shade Fun Rare Beauty Lip Liner. Let's see, these lipsticks come in these like fun cases where you have to press it in and then it pops down. So this is the shade Humble. Ooh, creamy. I have to say, these feel a little creamier than the rose ink ones. So there is Humble from Rare Beauty. Oh, nice. I am gonna have to go through these shades. I don't wanna open up and, and like swatch all of them. If it's not a shade that I think I'm gonna wear. So yeah, I'll have to go through these, but this is really lovely. Wow, thank you so much, Rare Beauty. This is so beautiful. And congrats on another wonderful release. So cool. Okay, last package from T3. Ah, so they sent over their uh, Lucia. Lucia? I'm not sure if I'm mispronouncing that. Um, but it is their one inch straight. It's their one inch iron. And then they sent over the single pass curl, one and a quarter inch barrel. This is great, 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 great if you want like loose waves. And I believe this is all part of the Nordstrom anniversary sale also. I really wanna figure out how I can curl my hair with a straight iron because I, I tried it many years ago. Like when I first moved here to Vegas, I tried adding in some curls with a flat iron. Wow, that did not go well. It just, I just got that like crease in my hair. And every time I see someone like on Instagram, like in a Reels or TikTok, and they're just curling, it just comes out so beautifully. I'm like, what, why can't I do that? So anyway, maybe it's time to give it another shot. Oh, thank you, T3, so cool. All right, guys, that is all of my PR. Wow, what a mess. And, of course, today is recycling day, so I have to bring out all these boxes, which I'll do now. My husband, I don't know if you've been hearing this like clunking through the ceiling here. He's actually outside uh, on the balcony off of our primary bedroom, and he's trying to finish like putting together the fire pit. So the workmen brought up the fire pit because it was so heavy. They brought it upstairs, but it still has to be assembled. So that's what he's doing right now. It's so hot. It's so hot outside. I don't know. I don't know how he's doing it. So anyway, I told him to wait until it was, you know, evening, at least like when the sun went down, we have lights up there. We can turn the fan on. We have an outdoor fan out there. Nope. He was like, no, I have time now. I'll just do it now. I'm like, okay. Okay. <laughs> All the recycling is in the recycling bin. It is bursting because we had um, that fire pit stuff in there and the workmen threw some stuff in there. Anyway, that's all done. But I did wanna show you the progress that I made on my Batman puzzle. <laughs> you guys know how much I love my jigsaw puzzles and I wasn't feeling well, was it this past weekend? I am really, like, really, really bad at keeping track of time now. Anyway, I wasn't feeling well a, a bit ago, maybe a week ago. And so, like, my head was hurting. I didn't feel like doing the puzzle. So, anyway, I haven't made much progress, but I do feel like... I do feel like I'm more than halfway done. So, this is what I have done first. I don't know why I went down the middle first. I felt like these letters were probably the easiest to do because it was the only place, here's a picture of the puzzle, the only place in the puzzle where the red and the yellow were together, um, you know, except for a few places like in here. So I was like, oh, let me just take out all the red and yellow pieces, which I did, but because they're all just like lines and stuff, it was, it was actually pretty difficult. <laughs> putting, it was difficult for me. Probably it's not difficult for most people, uh, but it was difficult for me to put this together. And then this was a little bit easier because the colors um, it's like an ombre, so you could find like the letters and then kind of seg them out depending on like the background color. Um, and then this was super easy because of the light yellow background. Joker was pretty easy. Um, the edging obviously was pretty easy, but I'm starting to work on like the individual uh, villains. So let's see, I have Riddler here. I have the start of who is this? Penguin's bow tie. And then this is Rachel Ghoul's. I don't think it's his tie, but yeah, it's like his shirt that's peeking out from his cape, his evil cape. <laughs> All right, I think it is time. What time is it? To, yeah, to go pick up Butters from school. I can't wait to see her. I miss her so much. Is that ridiculous? 
I miss my dog so much every time we have to take her to school. I just, from the minute we drop her off, the minute I see her disappear behind the doors, I just start like, my heart just starts aching. And I'm like counting down the minutes until I can go pick her up again. But yeah, we have to go do that. I should check on my husband. He's been working on that fire pit upstairs for a while. He's probably passed out from the heat. Someone is looking very sleepy. Hi, baby. Did I, did I bother you? You were just sleeping soundly. I don't know if you guys remember that BarkBox toy, the Super Chewer toy that I got for Miss Butters at Target. It looked like a Totoro bunny. Well, she ripped the like fuzzy skin off of it. And underneath was the... <laughs> I'm like, w this is a crazy psycho bunny. But at the same time, it kind of looks like Miss Butters too. Strange. Good morning. I am freshly showered. I put on most of my skincare. And when I got to the point where I wanted to put on some cream, I thought, you know what? Let's do that Exponent Beauty mashup together. And yeah, I just thought it would be really, really fun. So this is what I just hauled for you guys. Um, and this is that brand that I, I saved all the stuff to, all the instructions. So this is that skincare brand where you basically mix uh, some of the ingredients together, not all of them obviously, but some of them. And the idea of that is so that the ingredients are as effective and efficient as possible. So there's like a whole step-by-step -step instruction guide here. We have the base and dispenser. We have, oh no, I'm sorry. We have the dispenser and the jar. We have the base here. And then we have the two ingredients, the hyaluronic activator and then the retinol powder, which you mix together. So I am gonna sit here and follow these instructions. I'm gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna do this together. Okay, so first we have the dispenser and globe assembly. So this is the globe and dispenser. Uh, remove rubber cap from dispenser. Okay, this is, I believe, the rubber cap. That was right on top. And then unscrew dispenser from globe. So that's the dispenser. This is the globe. And then it says open powder jar and screw dispenser onto top of powder jar as if it's a cap. So this is the powder that they sent me. This is the Time Rewind Retinol. They have a whole bunch of different kinds. Here's the card. I showed uh, you this yesterday when I hauled it, but here it is again. So there's a uh, five different kinds of powders. So I'm gonna open this up. So I'm opening up the powder jar and then I'm gonna screw this on top like it's a cap. Okay, so far so good. Place combined dispenser and powder jar into globe and twist to screw in lightly. Great, so we've got the powder with the dispenser on top and now it's in the globe. And now we have to assemble the base. So here is the base. These instructions are so good because they have the pictures <laughs> with it. All right, so remove the bottom of the base. Okay, that just that's no twisty, that just kind of snaps right off. And then open the hydrator refill and screw inside the top of the base. So here is the hyaluronic um, hydrator. I'm gonna open this up. Uh, open and screw inside the top of base. Okay. So that is screwed in. Um, and then snap the bottom, the bottom, <laughs> the bottom of the base back on. All right, so then it says before first use, oops, before first use, prime your base. Use your fingers to push down your bowl gently two to three times until the hydrator flows up through the center. Your base is now ready for use. All right, so 
So, oh, there it is. There's a hydrator and it says, use the excess hydrator on the back of your hands to not waste a drop. Well, all right. So this feels like a gel, this hyaluronic hydrator by itself. Now, how to make your superior serum. So remove rubber cap from dispenser if not all re off already. So this was the rubber cap that I took off initially. Place globe and dispenser onto bowl with the dispenser side down. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over. Gently push globe down and twist clockwise a quarter turn. You'll hear few small clicks, then a thunk. Oh, okay. Lift globe to reveal one dose of liquid and two piles of powder. Okay, that's what we've got here. Whip it into submission with your finger for about five seconds until it transforms into a light gel serum. Scoop out your superior serum and apply all over face. Oh, okay. Well, looks like I've whipped it into submission. This is kind of cool. <laughs> If any of you out there were into chemistry, I think you may like this. Now they sent me a retinol powder and I have sensitive skin. So I am just gonna put, where am I gonna put this to test? I'm just gonna put this along my jawline. I'm just gonna put it there. I'll probably do this for like a week and just see how the retinol suits my skin. But wow, that is super cool. So the ingredients stay separated until you're ready to use them. Wow. That is really, really cool. What a great idea. Uh, your bowl can be quickly wiped with a tissue between uses. Um, active powders are sensitive to water and should be stored with the rubber cap. So hold on to that rubber cap. Um, unlock, lock it. Your base can be locked easily for travel. This is really, really cool. Ooh, my skin feels really smooth. All right. Well, that was fun. And I will definitely keep you guys abreast of how this turns out. But I did want to put all of that together with you guys just to show you. It's obviously a lot easier and would go by a lot faster without me having to go through the instructions <laughs> and breaking down every single step. But that is really fun. Um, I think some of the powders that I would want to try is the Calm Revival, the Green Tea Resveratol. I think I definitely want to try that. And I definitely want to try, what was the other one? Was it the CoQ10? Yeah, the CoQ10 antioxidant. Those are the two that I really, that I really want to try. But we'll see how the retinol goes. And I, like I said, I will keep you guys updated. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in this vlog. Uh, I am going to start getting ready for my staycation here in Vegas. That will be another vlog. So I'm going to stop vlogging now and start vlogging for that. I will see you guys really soon.